more of this negative exponent garbage. So on some of these, usually our first instinct is to reciprocate whatever's inside the parentheses. But since we have another exponent outside of the parentheses, I mean, you can reciprocate those if you want, but I'm just going to use the uh, product rule, not the product rule, the pro power of power rules uh, to multiply the exponents. So here's what I mean, right? I've got a negative 2 to the power of negative 2, and then I should have negative 3 of those, so multiply it by that negative 3. See how I, I'm just using that power of power rule stuff? And then I've got Q to the, oh, that's a G. A Q to the power of negative one. Uh, but I've got uh, negative three of those, so I'm just gonna multiply those. And I, I know I put one in parentheses, but the operation is still the same. So I've got negative two to the power of six now. And then I would have Q to the power of three. Negative two to the power of six, two, four, 8, 16, 32. So that should be 32, which is positive because we had six negatives, times Q to the power of three. I mean, let me go back on this one, all right? This negative two, I apologize, is not in parentheses, which means that really inside, let me, let me get rid of this stuff. Inside this big set of parentheses, we only got one negative. And if we have three of those, we can't have a negative answer.